Uh, I am Christina Inman. I'm the Retail Manager and Estate Sommelier at Philip Rand Winery, and I'm going to show you how to properly open a bottle of Brut, or sparkling, or champagne as it would be. This is our Brut Rosé, and uh, it's something we make here at Philip Rand in the champagne method, so everything's done in the classic style, and um, as you're going to see, it's got a beautiful rosé colour. When you're opening a bottle of sparkling, the most important thing is the bottle should be very, very cold. Uh, the colder, the better, because as it warms up, you're really going to struggle uh, with the carbon dioxide that's going to be um, coming out of the bottle. So the colder, the better. Uh, this is a nice cold bottle that I've just pulled out of the fridge for us. And usually on any bottle of sparkling, uh, there'll be a beautiful foil around the edge, and there should be a little tab. You could, of course, use your corkscrew if you want to open the bottle. You could just get your blade and cut along the edge of the bottle that way. However, because they've made it easy for us, you can literally just pull the tab away like that and it's just going to lift the foil right off of the top. Now this is the cage you can see here um, and it's wrapped around the cork in order to keep the pressure down because there is a lot of pressure in this bottle. And around the side here is a little gadget here that comes out and it is five and a half turns that you want to unwind. The whole time you are unwinding a bottle I would always suggest to put your thumb um, over the top just to keep the pressure down just in case. So we're going to flip that five and a half times and you're going to loosen the cage. Now it really depends on your style. Some people keep the cage on when they're opening the bottle. I prefer to take it off uh, but it really is up to you. So I'm going to take this off. Again, if you'd like, you could use a Lito or um, a polishing cloth if you like to open the bottle. I, again, just prefer to use the classic um, handheld method here. And what I'm going to do is just, as I'm applying pressure, slowly release the cork. And I'm just twisting, but as I'm twisting, I'm holding the pressure down on the bottle and you want as little sound as possible to come out of the bottle. It should just be a sigh. It shouldn't be a loud pop or explosive bang or anything exciting like that. We want to be very um, respectful here, I would say. <laughs> um, but you want it to just be a sigh. You don't want it to be a loud explosive pop. So now that your bottle of wine is open, you would grab your glass, you can hold it, there should be a nice punt in the bottom here of the, of the bottle where your thumb can go, and you're just going to lightly pour very, very slowly because there's lots of bubbles coming out of the bottle, just very, very slowly to the degree that you would like. And again, another uh, sign that your sparkling is very good is there should be lovely bubbles coming out of that bottle and they should be very tiny. The tinier the better.